The Maltese are small dogs in the toy group or lap dog group. Researchers believe Maltese were among the first dogs raised as companions. Here is a list of 12 incredible things about Maltese that makes these dogs so special. Number 12 Maltese have powerful, color-changing noses. Maltese sense of smell is anywhere from 10,000 to 100,000 times stronger than a person's. That means your Maltese has a nose much more powerful than your own, so you'll want to be sensitive to your dog's aversion and preference for smells. Not only do Maltese have powerful noses, but they can also change color. While normally black, a Maltese's nose can turn pink for a number of reasons. First of all, age plays a factor, as a Maltese's nose can change color as it ages. Additionally, not enough sunlight can also cause a pink nose, which is why this condition is sometimes called a snow nose or winter nose. Inversely, too much sun can also bleach a Maltese's nose pink, so you'll want to pay attention so your dog's nose doesn't sunburn. Number 11 Maltese make good guard dogs. When most people think of guard dogs, they tend to think of large, imposing-looking breeds. You may be surprised to learn that Maltese actually make quite capable guard dogs. What they lack in size, they more than make up for in bravery. Maltese are extremely alert and will not hesitate to protect their loved ones from perceived threats. They will readily bark at strangers, so it's important to train your Maltese not to be overprotective to avoid having a noisy household. Number 10 Maltese are best companion dogs. The Maltese has always mostly served as a companion dog. Thanks to their charming, easygoing nature, they will easily adapt to almost any environment. They're happy to live in a small apartment or large house, and they're easy to take on trips due to their size. Maltese love people and to be spoiled with attention, so it's no wonder they were popular among royalty and commoners alike. Number 9. Maltese Develop Tear Stains If your Maltese develops tear stains, your pup may have an undiagnosed medical condition. Tear stains can be caused by a number of issues, including blocked tear ducts, allergies, ear infections, or environmental problems. In the event your Maltese gets tear stains, look into obvious culprits, including the quality of your pet's food and water, and eye and coat hygiene. Number 8. Smaller isn't always better. This is more a piece of advice than anything else. If you are looking for a Maltese puppy to bring home to your family, make sure that you stay away from the term teacup, and for various reasons. First of all, the term teacup, especially for a Maltese, isn't really a true statement. If you find someone selling a teacup Maltese, it often is referring to the runt of the litter and a pup that will more than likely not reach a weight of over 4 pounds. Although this sounds cute and cuddly, this dog can also end up being played with a bevy of health problems that they could potentially carry for the rest of their life. This, along with the commitment of their lifespan in general, can often be difficult for the family that is always on the go. With that said, make sure to really do your research when looking for the perfect Maltese puppy for your home. Number 7. Maltese Don't Shed Maltese are considered hypoallergenic dogs and do not shed as much as other dogs. This makes them much easier to groom and means you don't have to worry much about picking their hair off your furniture or clothes. That being said, Maltese do shed at times, so don't expect to avoid grooming and hair problems altogether. Maltese possess a single coat, so they aren't affected by seasonal shedding as much as dogs with double coats but the temperature still plays a factor. Moreover, a Maltese may shed more due to certain health conditions. Changes in hormones, age, stress, and poor diets can all cause your Maltese to stress more than normal. Number 6. They often suffer from reverse sneezing. This is in no way a medical dilemma, but rather just a unique quirk of the Maltese breed in general. The breed is often known to be more susceptible to something called a reverse sneeze, where instead of a sneeze, like we are often used to, the dog will make a different sound, such as honking, guiding, or even snorting. This is not dangerous or harmful for the dog, and often ends after a minute or so into the sneeze. The reverse sneezing can often be caused by your Maltese puppy becoming overexcited while playing, or even by other factors, such as allergies. Number 5. Malteses have delicate teeth. Maltese dogs seem to have sensitive teeth 
as research shows that they, more often than not, suffer from dental problems. Hence, this little one's teeth need to be considered when you choose a dog diet for it. For healthy Maltese teeth, it is advised that you give them dry kibble as it will keep your pup's teeth cleaner than wet foods will. Therefore, it is generally preferable and more affordable to avoid wet foods when tooth decay and gum disease are part of the concerns you have for your Maltese. Number 4. We can thank the Romans for Maltese color. It has been stated that the Romans are actually responsible for the pure white coat that the breed is so known for today. During the time of the Roman Empire, the color white was a sacred color and symbol for the Roman emperors, and because they kept these dogs as their royal pets, they wanted them to also show that pureness and divinity through the coloration of their fur. All we can do is thank the Romans for blessing us with one of the cutest and most beautiful dogs that is in existence today. Number three, it's too easy to spoil a Maltese. In their centuries of being companions to humans, Maltese have learned how to get their way. In fact, the breed is known for getting precisely what they want, even from owners who firmly intend not to spoil them. Number two, Maltese are often used as therapy dogs. The Maltese is a breed that is very affectionate, no matter if it is a stranger or their favorite human that is walking into the room. This affection, along with their small stature, soft fur, and ability to relax on the lap of anyone they meet, makes them an excellent therapy dog. It has been shown in various studies that holding and petting an animal, especially a dog, can help to reduce stress, anxiety, and can help to bring better feelings to an individual. This is why the Maltese, along with several other dog breeds, have been used to help with therapy for many who are dealing with problems such as anxiety, depression, and other detrimental situations. Number 1. Maltese are often fearless. The Maltese is a dog of amazingly sweet personality. They are always on the go, always energetic, and always eager to meet new people and discover new things. This can be a blessing and a curse at the same time, as this makes the breed utterly fearless. This is why it is so important to keep a watchful eye on your pup, as they will have no problem walking up to any creatures, even if they risk a potential danger or putting themselves in harm's way. It is good to remember that, even with a fenced-in backyard, it is best to stay outside with your dog while they are doing their business or just exploring in the grass.